What's up y'all, Big Smitty here. And today's video is gonna be a little bit different. In a world where honesty and transparency are just not there, I'm gonna be honest and transparent with you and tell you that your boy Big Smitty is a dumbass. That may come as a shock to a lot of you, but those who know me aren't surprised at all. So I only had a short amount of time to shoot some good writing video this week. Good writing shots, edit them, and get them out for Thursday's video. So I got up the other morning at 3.30 to take my video, and like a dumbass, I didn't connect the microphone so that the 25-minute ride to work, where I expounded on all these topics that I know you really want to hear about, didn't get recorded. It's just wind noise. And then, to be even more, shall I say, some dumbassery on the way home from work, I fat fingered my GoPro and put it in time warp so that the 25 minute ride home only filmed for a minute and 23 seconds, all in fast forward. Now, luckily for me, my 14 year old daughter is a genius and has kind of given me a few more ideas on how to edit things and how to do voiceovers, which is awesome. Greatly appreciative. So I want you to remember, like I told you before, that my first 10 videos were going to suck. Here's video number four. Let's just go to the video. Ah, uh, yes. The start of the ride to work at 3.30 in the morning. So I got asked the other day about who do I like to watch as far as vlogging goes and uh, who kind of uh, inspired me to start vlogging. So in all honesty, I think the first moto vlog I watched was uh was Adam Sandoval and I like uh, Adam Sandoval rides him there at the at the K River campground does a lot of good stuff for veterans and um man just his rides across the country and I liked his videos and thought that everything was well done uh the other one that when I first started watching and kind of getting into it and I read his stuff in Cycle Source was Scooter Tramp Scotty uh man just somebody who lives on the road and lives on his motorcycle and his stories and adventures, it's just some of the coolest stuff. So I really like Scotty and what he does. Also, uh, I, by accident, found Shade Tree Surgeon, and I think that Josh is hilarious. I like the fact that he does his videos where he just flat out makes mistakes and lets you know that he makes mistakes when he's working on stuff and has to do it twice. And it kind of makes you feel good that, uh, that you're not the only one that has to do stuff like that. And after I found him, of course, I found Flip Na, who I think is just funny because he's kind of nutty. I also like Traveling Tall. I think he puts on a uh, uh, his stuff. Just I can listen to Tall's voice all day. I just think he's a uh, he's entertaining to me. And uh, and also Blockhead. I uh, I had never heard of Blockhead. Then I went and started watching all his videos. And I was like, man, this guy's really good, and he's got a lot of solid content. So I enjoy him. The thing that is kind of deceiving is that those guys make it look easy when they do a 15 or 20 minute video. You don't realize that they've probably gone through eight, 10 hours worth of uh, film to get it there. Then they've done two or three hours worth of editing. I can tell you that my little 10, 15 minute videos, sometimes it's an hour or two or three hours worth of stuff I filmed and then it takes me an hour, hour and a half to edit it. And I don't have any of the fancy stuff they do. Uh, those guys, I, I thought this was going to be an easy thing and it's a lot of hard work. Uh, I mean, not hard work compared to what I do at my day job or anything like that, but it's time consuming and you have to be uh, dedicated to it. Cause if you're not, you're going to put out, well, shitty quality and you know, nobody wants to do that. And as long as I'm talking while I'm writing, the bridge that I'm going over right now is the Fred Hartman Bridge. It's a, it's a big, big bridge, and it runs east-west. So when you get a strong north or a strong south wind, it will blow you all over the road. I uh, right, Currently, I'm riding in like the, the second lane. There's four lanes there, and uh, I have been in the far left lane and got blown to the far right lane when you're uh, riding during the winter and have that north wind come through. Well, what little winter we have. But if you look up to the left right there, you're going to see all those lights. That's, that's all the plants, all the refineries, the, what keeps the, the ship channel open. 
these plants and these refineries make a lot of money for a lot of people. It's one of the reasons that Houston has as strong of a job market as it does in the surrounding area. So grateful to have the job I have, but you can see I like to ride in the country because this ride to work here is nothing more than, you know, refineries and chemical plants and distillation towers and it, it gets old kind of quick. Also got a few comments last time on uh, saying that the bike cost me ten grand and man, wow, that was cheap. And uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm really happy with the cruiser. Uh, I've been riding baggers for a while, and I and going to a cruiser. Of course, it was something different, but man, uh, the fact that it's quick, it's a heavier bike because a six cylinder motor, but it's really nimble. So it's been making a big difference. This is not necessarily a curvy rail. There's a few curves, but. Man, it handles them really well. It sticks where you want it to, and man, I just can't complain. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at getting another bagger. Uh, it's probably going to be a Road Glide because, man, I really like the way they are. A Road Glide just they handle well and good for keeping the wind off of you for longer trips. But man, I, I just can't get rid of my Valkyrie. That six cylinder motor is, it's just the cat's meow. So one thing that I don't like is I don't like riding on uh, interstates and freeways. It, it's a uh, it's a necessity. I don't have a lot of options. I prefer backcountry roads, as I said earlier. I try. This is one of the roads that I cut off to. That's a back road that kind of runs up to the plant where I work because I just man I don't like riding on the big roads. It's just back roads are more fun. I like being out in the country and getting to see trees and whatever and even though this is really not necessarily the country it's just it's a better ride than being stuck on the freeway the entire time So now, as I'm uh, getting close to work, it's kind of funny. I work at one of those places that is not going to allow you to uh, have a camera or film or any kind of thing inside the gate. So before I get there, I have to uh, have to pull over, stop the camera, take the camera off, uh, or lose my job. Which you know, hey, uh, it's kind of nice to have a job to take care of the family and uh, and be able to afford motorcycles and motorcycle parts and you know put kids through school and all that good stuff but uh luckily there's the good old chevron station sitting there that's uh nice and well lit and got an open parking lot so old smitty is safe as he can be as he goes in to take off his uh his damn camera and put it away before he heads into the old job site This is where the uh, computer-generated voice would say, 12 hours later. Anyway, something I want to talk about real quick. I don't like to do political stuff. And as you can see, it's in fast forward right now where I messed up. But I wanted to say that uh, right now with the way things are going in this country, uh, as far as race issues, I give my kids my Asian speech. That's A-T-I-O-N, not Asian, but Asian. We don't judge people on their skin pigmentation, 
their sexual orientation, their religious indoctrination, or their political affiliation. I judge you by your character, of who you are, and what kind of person you are. I think that's important for us nowadays, especially the way things are going, to realize that, you know, a little love and appreciation would help each other. That's about all I'm going to say on that matter. As far as you guys know me, I love motorcycles, love riding, and uh, here's a fast forward clip of me busting ass to get home. Hey y'all, thanks for watching the video. Remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave me a comment. And I want to tell you I really appreciate all the comments, the good ones and the negative comments as well because they both help me get better. Because to be honest with you, the goal for this channel is to put out good content that you want to watch and content that I'm proud of. And like I told old Mary Jane Rottencrotch when I was 17 years old, I'm going to get better at this eventually. Anyway, as always, have a great day. Let's try not to be assholes to each other, and I'll see y'all next time.